Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be exploring the full tokenomics behind the Internet Computer Protocol. One of the biggest questions I get in the ICP ecosystem is Cryptovisor. How many coins are unlocked? How many coins are locked? What's the vesting schedule? How many coins have not been released yet? What is the inflation number? And most importantly, does this all translate to being bullish or bearish about Internet Computer Protocol? By the time I'm making this video, by the way, I don't hold any ICP. This may change and this may be different by the time you're watching this video. But I try to give my unbiased, neutral opinion on these ecosystems, whether I hold the coins or not, and uh, let you guys know, in my opinion, whether these coins are or are not investable. So understanding who holds the coins, where the coins were distributed to, what the inflation number is. These are very important aspects of the ecosystem that I think a lot of people should understand, especially if you're investing in these protocols. So let's kind of get into it with the internet computer protocol. And don't forget to give this video a free thumbs up. We upload every single day of the year. So hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications and give the video a free thumbs up. If you think that this information is valuable and worth just $1.99 a month, click the join button down below to learn how you can become a channel member for as little as $1.99. Thanks for all the support. Thanks to all of our channel members right here on the Cryptovisor podcast. Let's get into it. So on Crypto Rank, if you go to the vesting page, it shows a quite nervous uh, nervous distribution, right? Uh, or anxiety-ridden distribution because apparently there's only 36% of all the internet computer coins that are unlocked and available in liquidity. And so a lot of people ask, Cryptovisor is this coins that are in staking because we know that staking has a vesting period. And these are called uh, neurons or neuron dissolved delay. And this tells you how long the individual person or wallet is staking their coins for. And, uh, you know, there's different time frames. You can just have liquid staking if you want. You don't want to hold your coins for a certain amount of time. Uh, but there, to still show uh, like 53% that is untracked, it's a little bit like nerve wracking as an investor, because you want to know where all the coins are, you want to know that most of the coins have been released, most of the coins are in people's wallets. And if they wanted to sell, they could have already sold. And so I need to understand the full tokenomics. And to understand the full tokenomics, you really got to go back to the ICO. Now, I don't really have too much understanding of where the Dfinity or internet computer ICO came from. Again, I didn't really follow ICP too much at the beginning because it was launching and it had a really terrible launch, right? It went from like $800 down to $100 in a month. And a lot of that we believe is from manipulation from the likes of FTX. But you can see here that supposedly the token sale took place before, before FTX, right? FTX, I don't even think was around in 2018. That was the last bear market. And so, yeah, it says the token sale ended in August of 2018, $195 million was raised. And uh, this is on IC, icodrops.com. And you can see here from April to August, no exact dates, but that uh, approximately 2018, they released ICP as an ERC-20. One ICP coin was $4. They sold $102 million apparently, and total tokens were 469 million coins. Now, right now, when I'm recording this video, according to the, um, the internet computer dashboard itself, we have 517, 518 million coins. So the number didn't increase that much, right? So we can just look from 2018 to 2024. I mean, to me, it looks like there's not that much inflation, right? There is some inflation, obviously, because we're not at 469, but it's not a lot of inflation. And we'll get into the inflation situation in a minute, because I know a lot of you guys uh, ask about that. Um, and then... Yeah, basically, that's really all we have on the ICO. But I was able to find a report from Dfinity, which, uh, sorry, from Masari Research. And Masari Research did an in depth analysis of Internet Computer and kind of the, you know, how Internet Computer started. And basically, they posted this uh, research right around the time that Internet Computer was launching on major exchanges. 
So similar to Polkadot's network is built by Parity and Web3, Internet Computer is built by Dfinity Foundation. The nonprofit organization was founded in 2016 by tech entrepreneur Dominic Williams, who now serves as Dfinity's chief scientist. The Internet Computer is the culmination of five years of research and development by top cryptographers and experts in distributed systems and programming languages. Dfinity currently has nearly 100,000 academic citations and 200 patents. Dfinity is one of crypto's most well-funded and publicized projects. Mainnet launched on May 7th of 2021, and their token was slated to publicly launch on May 10th. The project actually started fundraising before the ICO boom under the ticker DFN for, I guess, Dfinity, uh, but was rebranded to ICP. After Polkadot, Dfinity raised the most capital. It has also raised the most non-frozen funds at $160 million to date. So you can see here on this Masari chart, it shows capital raised among newer Ethereum challengers. And you can see it says Dfinity raised $121.6 million to build the internet computer and another unspecified amount estimated to be $40 million to fund ecosystem development. Polkadot was the next largest with about $150 million and another $100 million, I guess, for ecosystem development. And then you can see the other ecosystems here. To put it in context, uh, Cardano's IO Global raised about 70, I think the number was $72 million for the ADA ICO that took place, I don't know, 2016 or 2017. So anyway, uh, there have been several conflicting versions of Dfinity's fundraising rounds. According to Dfinity, they had three main rounds and one airdrop. The first round was a seed round in February 2017. This was before the, uh, the peak of the market in 2017. This round was advertised by a tweet and open to the public by downloading a web extension. Dfinity raised about 3.9 million US dollars from 370 participants at a valuation of $16 million or a price of three cents per coin. It held a portion of the, t the funds in Ethereum and Bitcoin during the 2017 crypto bull run. According to the team, Dfinity at one point turned these earlier ETH and Bitcoin allocations into $40 million worth of fiat. So effectively three, oh, $4 million to $40 million. So they 10x'd their initial round, right? Dfinity had promised the seed investors that the subsequent rounds would be at a uh, 20 CHF. I don't even know what that is. CHF million dollar main fundraising event similar to an ICO. However, after the 2017 boom, the project realized valuation target was set too low. Furthermore, Dfinity cited that it didn't have immediate funding shortfalls and running an ICO fundraise could have placed it in a gray legal territory where security law was concerned. As a trade-off to reward early participants, the team promised that the seed investors would be awarded 24.72% of the tokens at Genesis, meaning the first block. So... Basically, almost 25% of the initial coins was going to this first round of investors. So think about this, right? If you invested at three cents per coin, and even if you held it on, you know, through the seven eight hundred dollar pump when it first launched to two dollars and ninety cents, that's a ten x, right? No, sorry, a one hundred x. Three cents to thirty cents would be ten x to three dollars would be a hundred x. I mean, that's still, that's still a good return. Uh, but anyway, the strategic round was in January of 2018. Dfinity apparently raised $20.5 million for 7% of the initial supply. The number has been revised from the previously cited 6.84%. This allocation will vest monthly over three years, starting from the main net launch in 2021. Effectively, it's probably ending now. We'll go back to the vesting schedule in a minute. Participants included Andresine Horowitz, Polychain Capital, Coin Fund, among others. This round marked the first round that Andresine Horowitz invested in. Polychain and Dfinity later collaborated to create the Dfinity Ecosystem Venture Fund of an undisclosed size. This goal is to fund new projects that would grow the Internet Computers Application Ecosystem. The media reported that Dfinity raised a much larger amount of $61 million. It's possible that this larger, enlarged amount has either been revised or included, or included funds from that ecosystem venture fund. 
Then they had apparently a private sale in August of 2018. 110 participants contributed $97 million for about 5% of the initial supply sold at $4 per ICP token. Uh, this number was then revised to four and three quarter percent previously. This allocation came with a monthly vesting schedule of one year from the mainnet launch. Vesting would begin at the initial token distribution at the Genesis block. Participants included these um, participants, again, Andresine Horowitz and Polychain Capital, among others. And then in May of 2018, they also had an airdrop, $35 million worth of ICP coins, or 0.8% of the initial supply was airdropped to early supporters. Um, by being a member of the mailing list, forums, Slack, and the community. At this time, the valuation reached $1.89 billion. Airdrop participants received the IOU version of the ICP tokens in September of 2020, and these tokens became transferable at Genesis Block. So effectively at Genesis, or the beginning, the first block of ICP, there were 469 million ICP tokens that would be distributed as follows. So as we said, 9.5% we're going to go to early contributors. 25% we're going to go to seed investors. That's those uh, that first uh, fundraise round. Strategic partnerships, we get 7%. Pre-sale, we get 4.96%. Strategic partnerships, 3.79%. Community airdrop, we just covered. Initial community and developers, half a percent. Node operators, 0.22%. Internet Computer Association, which I'm assuming is now the Definity Foundation, 4.26%. Um, Hold on, I'm trying to make this so you guys can see it. Um, oh, I could have just scrolled down. <laughs> Node Operator, okay, we did that. Team Members, 18%. Advisors, 2.4%. And Definity Foundation, 23.86%. So yeah, what is Internet Computer Association? Anyway, I mean, by now... Who knows? I mean, where are all of these coins? According to the vesting schedule, um, we are now in 2024. 20, so it's still showing that uh, every 14 days approximately, no, every month, there is going to be 2.37 million coins unlocked for seed investors through 2025. The strategic round, they're going to be getting monthly distributions of 867,000 coins every month. And it looks like that is it. Now, it's showing 261 million ICP or 53% of the supply is untracked, meaning we don't know where it is. And this is, this is a concerning number, right? Because this could be early investors. I mean, we don't know where these coins actually are. I mean, even if we look at how much coins are being staked currently, I know it's going to be hard for you guys to see this on the screen because my logo is up there. But effectively, yeah, you're not, you guys are not going to be able to see it. So where we are right now with total staking is 243 million coins, okay? And there's 261 million coins that are untracked. Even if we look at the allocation here, None of these are being counted as staking. Even up here, none of these are counted as staking. So there's 261 million ICP coins that are not being tracked. I would imagine most of these coins are the staked coins. 243 million out of 261 million. So there's about 20 million that we don't know exactly what it is. But this could be one of those fundraising rounds 20 million, I mean, could be the Internet Computer Association or maybe strategic partnerships. I don't know. It is a little bit concerning not to have clarity on this. Maybe Internet Computer uh, Definity Foundation or Dominic need to do a video about this. I don't know. Um, because it is a concern from an investment perspective. Like, is this investable if there's this many coins that we don't know where these coins are at the time? It looks like most of the coins are unlocked. We just did a video a few weeks ago uh, in April, I think, or March, which basically we talked about the last large unlock that was happening. Because as you guys can see, most of the un the large unlocks have already 
they're already done, right? It's really only seed and private sale and strategic round that are still being released. So there are still concerns that I have from an investability standpoint in the longer term, but in the bull market, in a tradable market, I think that it's, it's going to be tradable. I mean, put it that way. Uh, so you can see all these, dis this is a pie chart of how the distributions took place as well. And so, you know, they show that back in 2021, at the time of launch, 12 independent data centers and seven subnets with 68 nodes were running uh, the internet computer. So think about that, 68 nodes and seven subnets. And today, let's look at how many nodes and subnets we have with internet computer, because I think it's much larger than that. Yeah, so we have uh, almost 1500 nodes, you can see right here on the screen, I'll try to make it a little larger. Uh, these are nodes 1,477. You have almost 559 nodes in subnets and 37 subnets. So significant growth in the internet computer ecosystem. And again, if you look at the circulating supply and even the total supply, the, the coins that were released at Genesis was 469 million coins. And currently, Again, in circulation, there's 518 million. So do the math on that. 518 minus 469 is 49 million coin inflation over the course of three years. So let's just do the math on that. 49 divided by three is about 16 million coins inflation uh, per year. 16 million at the current price of, where are we in price? We'll say $13. So $16, sorry, 16 million, let's do this, 16 million coins times $13, it's $208 million that has, is basically inflated in new coins every single year over the last three years. Is that a lot? I don't know. I mean, you're talking about a multi-billion dollar market cap asset. And if you look at other cryptos in the top 10, top 20, some of these are inflating at much higher rates, right? Cardano, one and a half billion ADA per year. And so, yes, there are definitely some concerns about the tokenomics I see here. Nothing glaring, nothing that I would say this is not investable because I do think that the market is going to absorb some of the, some of the inflation, not all of it, right? Some of the inflation. And then the valuation of the blockchain through usage and adoption and technical abilities and bridgeability and volume, this all adds to the valuation of these ecosystems. And the more people use these ecosystems and lock their coins in staking and participate in the security of the network, again, the more valuation these ecosystems will get. That's the idea, at least. None of this is a science or an exact, um, exact, you know, science they're they're these are just opinions strategies and thesis on the market so this is why you got to do your own research but i really want to know what you guys think do you think the tokenomics within the internet computer are too kind of all over the place with not enough enough clarity uh, i mean most ecosystem websites like if you go to them you can see all of the genesis wallets all of the coins that were released and who got what and you don't really see that on the internet computer website, right? This was a, a research report from Sari. And the tokenomics page talks about what these coins do, the utility token, governance and rewards, what the annualized reward rates are, the cycles, node provider rewards, and, and that kind of thing. But it doesn't really talk about the genesis. And as time goes on, it's not going to matter as much. But since we're still in the like the first major cycle after internet computer launched. I think that it is important for people to understand where the coins are, where they're going, how much they're going to be diluted on. And that's why I like doing these videos so that we can explore it together and understand a little bit more about it together. But in my view, the inflation is not that big of an issue right now because we know that the inflation, a lot of that is coming from these coins that are being released into the ecosystem and other mechanisms uh, therefore, but we also know that there's some burning going on as well to kind of keep that inflation rate from getting out of hand. And I would hope that eventually we actually see a negative inflation rate or a deflationary rate by burning more coins. And that would have to 
be probably a governance proposal to burn coins from transaction fees or something like that. But we will see how that all plays out. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a free thumbs up and let me know what you guys think. See you guys tomorrow. Invest responsibly and crypto on.